Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 432. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. In Trick 432, we have some names, and we want to keep the duplicates. So this is a huge uh, list. If I click there and control down arrow, I can see there's like a thousand names. Control home to jump to A1. I'm going to create a formula here, true or false. I want to true when there, when there is a duplicate. Well, we could use the count if function. The count if will count given a criteria. I'm going to include a range and then a criteria. Click in the top cell, control shift down arrow to highlight, and then F4 to lock it. We need that range locked as we copy our formula down. And I just want to count the cell directly next to me. Now, it's looking through the whole range. So if this cell happens to be a duplicate um, listed twice, or three times, or four times, then it'll give us a count of two, three, four. If it's not a duplicate, it'll just deliver a one here. Close parentheses, control enter, and double click and send it down. You can see we have a two there. That means there's two of them, so that's a dupe. So really we want a true-false formula here. So I'm going to put this into edit mode, F2, and I'm going to come to the end. Tell me when that is greater than 1. Greater than 1 will um, say true only when it is greater than 1. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we go ahead and, oh, we can see there's a true there. There's um, a true right there, so those are dupes. There's dupes. Now, we're going to sort this column and then this column because we want everything, um, all the numbers together, so that all the dupes will be together. And then when we sort this and bring the trues to the top, all the dupes, um, both of each dupe or three or however many times they're listed, will come to the top. Right click, sort, and I'm going to sort A to Z. In earlier versions, you just go to the sort button or the data ribbon, and then right click sort. This is in Excel 2007 or 2010. You can right click, and I'm going to sort this true, true false column, Z to A. I got all my trues. Now, I want to highlight all the way down to the bottom of the trues. Uh, now I have all these dupes. Uh, maybe you want the dupes, maybe you don't. I certainly don't want them. So I'm going to highlight all the way down. Ooh, there's a lot of trues right to there. And guess what? I'm going to use Advanced Filter Extract Unique List. Advanced Filter Extract Unique List. If it sees more than one, it just leaves all those behind and only extracts one. This trick, you got to have the field name highlighted at the top. I'm going to go to Data. Uh, advanced Filter right there. Uh, in earlier versions, it's on the data menu, and then filter, and then advanced filter. I'm going to click right there. Filter list in place. No way. I want to copy it to another location. Ah, instead of criteria, we're going to click unique records only, and then I'm going to copy to where? Bloop, right there, and click OK. And there I have my uh, dupes that I wanted, only one of each. All right, we'll see you next trip.